At the top of the hour, I was talking about how we can't trust generals, uh, carte blanche, with things like nuclear weapons. They sometimes have crazy ideas and make crazy requests. You know who we, else we can't trust with nuclear materials? Republicans. You know, one of the things that people need to do is go after their political foes on their strengths. The Republicans know how to do this, which is why a crooked guy like Donald Trump accuses everybody else of being crooked. He's crooked, but he's not completely stupid. Yeah, I'll give him that. So uh, now the strength for the Republicans is supposed to be that they're great at military matters, at national security, and national defense. Well, guess what? Here's a news flash as we uh, creep up on the next election. Republicans stink at defense. Republicans stink at military strategy. Republicans stink at simple tasks like handling radiological materials. I was thinking, particularly as we uh, uh, listened to Dr. Amundsen in the last segment about the, uh, the uh, state of Washington and the nuclear materials there, about something I wrote uh, many years ago, I think in 2005, uh, um, asking uh, whether our next national disaster might involve nuclear materials. The reason why, because George W. Bush, the Republican president who was so uh, who's, who's gotten a sort of a rehabilitation of some kind recently, entirely undeserved. First of all, Bush, Cheney, and the other Republicans got us into the war in Iraq, which has cost a million lives, trillions of dollars. They have no idea how to get out of the mess they got us into, and nobody else has been able to figure out how to get out of the mess they got us into, uh, number one. Uh, but number two, even on basic national security efforts, like making sure terrorists don't get radioactive materials, they stunk at that too. This is what I wrote in 2005. I was picking up on an article, I believe in the Times, that said this, quote, um, some radiological waste storage areas may lack adequate protection against sabotage, which could cause wide area radiological dispersal. In English language, we had in secured places like Hannaford, terrorists could come in, set off dynamite and spread this stuff everywhere on the wind. Another statement, quote, the U.S. Defense Department, now this is talking about the Defense Department under the supervision of Republican George W. Bush, Republican Dick Cheney, and Republican uh, Donald Rumsfeld, remember Donald Rumsfeld? Uh, quote, the U.S. Defense Department failed to secure sources of radiological material in Iraq for six months after the U.S. invasion in 2003, during which period some were looted and scattered, a congressional watchdog said, an unknown number of radiologic sources remain unsecured in Iraq. So this was two years after the invasion. We still hadn't secured, the, or rather I should say we, Republicans, still hadn't secured this radiological material. So we went, and remember what happened afterwards in Iraq. ISIS, the rise of the Islamic State, uh, the mass spike in terrorism, because Republicans stink at preventing terrorism too, the global rise in terrorism following our uh, invasion of Iraq. So uh, basically they went in, they and the generals failed the competent, call it Competence 101, National Security Competence 101. They went into a place, invaded a country that had nuclear materials, radiological materials, left them unguarded for years. Some of those materials were actually stolen and we don't know what happened to them. We can just thank our lucky stars that they haven't been used against us and they hadn't secured them for two years afterwards. Now an election is coming up and these Republicans are, uh, all of them, all of them in Congress and a bunch of them in the Senate are filing their job applications with the American people saying among other things, we're the better party on national security. No, you guys are terrible on national security. You have no business being in power. You stink at the economy, which is why uh, it tanked under you, on your watch in 2008. You stink at uh, managing fiscal policy. You stink 
at what's supposed to be your strong point, national security. Vote them out.